we like to uh, answer questions that nobody's asking. And we thought, why should today be any different? So we're going to, uh, we're going to see how flammable clothing is today. You know, it feels like a fire kind of day. So let's, uh, let's take a walk into the NDC backyard and kind of check out our setup here. So as you can see, here's our uh, fancy scientific rig. Uh, you know, nothing but top dollar, sparing no expense here. A little bit of safety equipment and uh, a whole pile of clothes to uh, burn. All made from different materials and fabrics. So uh, let's see. So our first one here, this is going to be silk, 100% silk, just a scarf. Uh, I don't know if you've ever priced a silk shirt, but I don't think even we could bring ourselves to burn one of those. So uh, let's get this started and we'll see what happens. Yeah, as you can see, uh, silk doesn't really just go up in flames like we kind of thought it would, but uh, it is burning a little bit. It's definitely dropping some melted uh, material onto our patio here. That should be a joy to clean up. But yeah, not fireproof, definitely not fire safe, but uh, it's not just going to go up in a fireball like some of the things you might have on. All right, let's keep this moving. Another popular accessory. Good old winter hat. According to the tag, this is 100% acrylic, so uh, which is another type of synthetic, uh, almost plastic-like material. So we'll see uh, how fire safe your typical winter beanie is. It's a little more aggressive than a silk uh, accessory, but didn't quite go up in just absolute combustion, but it is burning pretty well. Definitely not something you're gonna want in your head. Also still dropping uh, little bits of melted plastic, so the after effects besides just the fire burn probably be pretty nasty. <laughs> this one here is 100% rayon. Rayon is a synthetic fiber usually used to mimic silk. Uh, interestingly enough, this happens to be a Jennifer Lopez style. Uh, we didn't know that when we bought it, so uh, hopefully she doesn't get mad at us. That wasn't the point of this. We just needed something that was rayon. So let's, uh, let's see how this one works out. Yeah, that one definitely went up a lot faster than the other ones. Uh, rayon, definitely a flammable material. Ooh, look at that. 802 degrees. That's a hot night in the club, people. Uh, yep, 
again, no fire retardant or protectant uh, about rayon at all. Our next material is 100% nylon, uh, typically found in sports jerseys like this or, uh, you know, other fabrics, things like tents and, uh, and stuff like that are often made out of nylon. So that's a, uh, another synthetic fiber. It's a type of plastic. Uh, this one should be interesting. As you can see, this one was not very easy to get it to light up. Uh, mostly just kept melting before it would get hot enough to light. It wasn't until we got to some of the painted surfaces that we could sustain a flame long enough to get it to burn. So uh, you're more likely to be uh, to have plastic melted on you than you are to suffer actual, you know, flame burns. Uh, either way, pretty nasty. But uh, yeah, not not a spontaneous combustion. This guy here, this is just your typical 100% uh, cotton t-shirt, uh, Walmart or any other brand name of shirts that you could get. Uh, a lot of them are made with this material or a combination of this and other materials. Uh, the next couple items are actually going to be all cotton, but uh, just different types of weaves and treatments. So let's see how this one goes. It went up pretty good, and let me tell you, it is putting off a lot of heat, even from back here, uh, more so than any of the other garments, but it's also a much larger flame. Uh, it does burn a little slow, but once it goes, I don't know that there's any stopping it till it's done. Uh, so that's a 100% cotton shirt. Still burning. We're a couple minutes into it. 979 degrees for just plain old 100% cotton. It's pretty crazy. All right, next we got another uh, all cotton fabric, flannel. It's like a brushed cotton, uh, winter favorite. And let's see how this one does. Nine hundred twenty-nine on the uh, on the flannel there. Hmm. Can see that or not, but it must have got pretty significantly hot. Uh, 
a lot more than just 920 degrees on that flannel because it actually melted our aluminum hanging rod uh, which is like I believe 1200 degrees or something like that uh, anyway don't quote me on that but yeah pretty intense next one is denim your typical blue jeans uh, this again is another 100% cotton just woven in a different type of uh, fashion and density so let's see how uh, protective blue jeans are against open flame. Well, they're going they're going slowly definitely took a lot longer to light it up than uh, some of the other cotton materials but it is burning nonetheless we're gonna let this go for a little bit longer and then try to uh, try to put this out before it does more damage to our hanging device because we still have a couple more a uh, couple more burns to show you That one took a lot of water to put out. So if you're wearing blue jeans and uh, they catch on fire, uh, you're in for one hell of a nasty time trying to put them out. Uh, may almost be better to try to get them off as fast as you can. But either way, we got it. Had to use a lot of water. Uh, did manage to barely save our hanging rod. It's uh, hanging down more and more every time it gets heated up. Uh, let's see what we can do with these last couple ones we got going. Another popular t-shirt material, this one here is 100% polyester, a, uh, another synthetic fiber, um, often used in place of cotton or in a blend with cotton, uh, but let's see what 100% polyester does when uh, put to the flame. very similar to nylon uh, difficult to light very easy to melt so with these type of materials you don't even have to be next to direct flame uh, keep them away from high heat sources or you may end up with uh, melted plastic burns as you can see in there it is still going and it will probably over time maybe consume the whole shirt but uh, we're not going to give it that opportunity uh, we might hit it with the torch a couple more times. Let's go ahead and do that. Got a little bit of a flame inside there, but again, yep, mostly just melting. Uh, so, high burn potential still, but this one, you don't even have to be near direct flame to, uh, to uh, have that happen. All right, here's another one. This is also 100% polyester, but this is commonly called fleece. Uh, so what this is, is this just a, a different blend of polyester. Very fluffed up, very common in pajamas, blankets, uh, bedding material. So let's uh, hit this with the torch and see what you can expect out of that material.
same deal a little bit more difficult to light but melts super easy does light a little bit easier than the uh, polyester shirt blend so you know be aware of that so the last one we're doing today uh, this is another natural uh, natural fiber material. This one is 100% wool. We save this for the end because wool is known for having a really high heat insulation, uh, meaning it can hold in heat, it can keep out heat. Um, I've never actually seen it up against direct flame, especially that is hot of a blowtorch. But uh, So we know it can insulate well. Let's see about its flammability. Again, this is wool. Uh, the last burn and another natural material. Alright guys, so uh, wool definitely held up the best. Uh, not only did it absorb a lot of the heat and when it did actually catch on fire, most of it was going out. It was only until we uh, put a consistent, uh, constant uh, blast from the map gas torch into a single spot and left it there that we could actually get it hot enough to burn. Uh, it does burn, you can see it. I mean, it's, it's almost melting. But uh, definitely performed the best as far as direct exposure to fire. Um, of course, Mapgatch Torch, you just, you know, there's no stopping it no matter which one of these materials you use. But there you go. Once we put the wool out, what was interesting is the parts that burned are just like a very crispy ash. Uh, not really melted, though that's what it looks like on camera. It is just burned through, complete ash. Uh, yeah, so there you go. There you have it, folks. Ten different materials, ten different burns. You know, we, we use the heat gun on some. I can't say that uh, synthetic fibers or uh, natural fibers burn any uh, hotter or cooler than the others. Uh, but none of the stuff we tested was fireproof material or fire resistant material anyway. So, you know, buy it for the fashion. Buy it because you like the way it looks. Uh, just uh, be careful when you're around heat sources. We hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.